Hello, Sully. Sully, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> good evening, teacher. How are you, Sully? Tell me. I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Oh, so glad to I see you. Ayer no me, sí, ayer teacher no me logré conectar porque me quedé trabajando toda la, toda la noche. Oh, I am so sorry. Um, uh, I was very busy. busy. Don't worry, you are here today and we are going to practice. Uh, I am ready. We have a lot to do today because we are going to make a general review of the topics we have covered during the class, we are going to have a conversation. I'm okay. going to give you some tips. So we are going to have a lot to do today. Robert, thank you, Sully. Hello, Robert. You're welcome. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm just great. What about you? I'm I'm fine. I'm I'm look the the problem with the with with the um, electrical electrical problem in the in the lines of in the, line. in the lines of of, of en problemas en los postes de luz de tendido eléctrico afuera de mi casa. Oh, so you can see some sparks. You can see sparks. Oh. Puede ver chispas. Sí, es, de hecho está, de oh. hecho agarró agarró fuego. Oh really? Oh sí. cool. You got to be careful then. Don't go out. <laughs> sí, yes, yes. I I'll Don't be get careful. Close to it. Don't get close to it because electricity and water. Not a good mix. No, not good. Not that good idea. <laughs> yeah, no. Believe me, believe me. I'm actually an electrician also. Okay. I, I studied my. I studied electricity. In, really? Yeah, my high my high school was electricity. Oh, good, nice man. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's difficult. It's difficult. It, it, it. No, it's fun. It's fun. Particularly when you get like... Uh, <laughs> it's very funny. Very funny. You wouldn't believe it. Let's see. Let's see. Let me send a message to everybody that we are here waiting for them so they can hurry up. Because I want to start. So, Suli, tell me, how was your day today? Today, um, I was... It's okay. So, last night you were working all night? No. Uh, um, at seven? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, no last night? Yes, last night you were working. Yes. All night long? No. Uh, 11? 11 p.m.? Until 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Until. All, until. Hasta. Okay. Until. Until 11 p.m. Wow. Yes, that teacher. Was. Very, very busy. I was oh. busy to last, last yesterday. Last night. Last night, perdón. Last night, <laughs> so. last night. Okay. Okay. So, and did you go to work today? Yes. Ouch. So, you went, you got home like what? 12. Um, yes, come twelve. No, mm, one or, or two. The, the madrugada. 
around one or two in the morning. In the morning. One or two in the morning. And you went back to work like what? Yes, um, in 10, 10 in the morning. Oh, 10 in the morning. Yes. So you had a chance to sleep a little bit. And no, um, I was in reunion at 7 a.m. I was in a meeting. I was in a meeting seven seven in the morning. Wow, so you had a terrible day. Yes. Uh, that, that's the way it is. In my case, I didn't sleep but because I got insomnia. Insomnia. And that happened to me regularly. Eso me pasa. So I went like all night like Me too. But that's only need, for, only need exercise for, for this insomnia. Well, mm, the problem is that in my case, sometimes, sometimes they, the doctor gives me pills. Ah. I need to undergo a treatment. And I do exercise. I exercise like uh, an hour a day. Oh, nice. And still, okay. I get um, Okay. I guess it's the problem with age. Creo que es por la edad. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think so. <laughs> Thank you, Sully. Thanks, Roberto. There's Urania. Hello, Urania. Good evening. How are you tonight? Tell me. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Um, fine. So, so. <laughs> Today wasn't, um, wasn't very good. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, my daughter, um, has a fever. Fever. Oh. Fever. Fever. Okay. Look, 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 look. Interesting. You just told me that your daughter was running a fever. Was My running? Daughter, yes, was running a fever. Ah. Como que estuvo con fiebre. Ah, yes, it, so. Kind of, it sounds kind of odd. Suena un poco odd, raro. Oh. Yeah, suena raro, but that's the way it is. Uh -huh. My daughter was running a fever. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that. Yeah. We always worry for the little ones. Siempre nos preocupamos por los chicos. Yeah. Yes, Roberto, I... Roberto understands you very well because last week he and his kids and his wife were sick, the whole family. <laughs> yeah, um, I... So I went to drugstore. I went to the doctor. To the drugs drugstore. I went to the doctor. Drugstore. Drugstore. Oh, to the drugstore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what uh, did you get for the kids? What? What did you get for your daughter? What did uh, you buy? Ah, uh, I bought acetaminophen. Acetaminophen, okay. Yes, yes. Um, uh, I came to five o'clock. At five o'clock. At five o'clock. And um, in the downtown, it was raining. Raining? Oh, raining, raining. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, Rania. Okay. Let's see, Mr. Alberto Raimundo, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Ready for the class? I'm I ready. Okay, this is our last class. Tell me, mister, how was your day? My my day? 
Yes, Alberto, tell me, how was your day? Okay, my my day start uh, with uh, my no, my day start, in my day of my work, I start okay. uh, with a meeting with my team, and okay. Just, I'm sorry, I started. Remember? Ah, okay, okay. Start I started ah. uh, with a meeting okay. with my team. And then I visited the tax authority. Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, after that, I take a lunch. Took, uh, took uh, a lunch. Uh, after that, I I came came back to my came house back home, home came, back. came back home uh, then at, at at 2 p.m. I took uh, no I has a new uh, meeting with my boss and finally uh, I has another uh, meeting with uh, my team. Had 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 uh, another 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 uh, meeting with my team for explain wow. for explain the uh, the program for the next week. Okay, to explain. explain to explain. If you use for you use for after the. The word for you need to say a verb in ing for explaining. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Explaining. Okay. For explaining or to explain. Okay. Thank you, thank teacher. You, no, thanks to you. Romeo. Hello, Romeo. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, eh, boss, come as bossy, bossy. Busy. Busy, busy. Okay, so tell me, did you go out of San Salvador today? Eh, yes, I. I went. I went. Eh, Chalatenango City. Ouch, that's a long way. Traffic. The traffic was terrible, I imagine. Horrible, sí. Oh, but, but already Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> yes. Don't, please, don't remind Roberto that it's Friday. Roberto no. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, Romeo. Okay. I'm celebrating now. And uh, after the class, after the class, you're allowed. Okay, okay, let's see. Uh, Flora, good evening, Flora. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, tell me, Flora, what did you do today? Um, I work. Work. I went. I went to work. I went to work. Um, all day. Hasta tarde, ¿cómo se dice? Hasta. Until late. Until uh, late. On until late. At seven. Seven o'clock. Oh, it was a long day. Yes. <laughs> well, the good thing is that you're here in class. Thank you, Flora. Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello, teacher. Sarah, what are you doing? Um, Hi, teacher, please. Um, um, very stressful. 
Are, uh, are you stressed? Yeah. Did you have a hard day? Um, meeting with my team. I had a meeting. Yes. Um, in this moment, is yes, eat my dinner late today. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I am having dinner. Uh, yes, I have dinner. Enjoy your <laughs> meal. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Actually, in English, guys, we don't have an expression like in Spanish for saying that. Uh, in English, we say enjoy your meal because there's no not a, a specific phrase for that. No hay una frase específica para decir buen provecho. Okay, so we say enjoy your meal, which is actually uh, la cual es realmente disfrute su comida. Okay. That's enjoy your meal. That's the only expression in English. Well, sometimes, sorry, sometimes when people, if you see somebody that is having food, you just tell the people, enjoy. Just that, enjoy. And people understand that you are saying, enjoy your meal. Okay? But you just say, enjoy, and that's it. So let's see. As I told you today, we are going to do a review. Let's remember. Let's remember. Let's see if Urania remembers. Urania, tell me what are the commands? What are the imperatives? Do you remember the imperatives, Urania? Um, imperatives. Um, no, teacher. Look at me. Turn off your camera. Oh. You see, you yeah. remember, you give instructions. Yeah. You are using the imperative. And when you give instructions using the imperatives, there's no subject. Because you already understand that this implicit subject is always going to be the word you. Okay? That's the subject with the imperative, but you don't write it, you don't say it. The other person automatically understands when you are giving instructions that or when you are giving a command, an order. Okay, okay, teacher. That's what you use the imperatives. But let's check out something. We are going to go over some of the previous presentations. Okay, hold on, just give me a second. I need to get rid of this screen here and now we can do it i'm going to share with you some of the previous presentations because i would like us to remember the very very first class is going to be the first okay guys what i want us to remember is exactly this do you remember the ordinal numbers? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth. 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd. Remember, after 20, what changed is just the unit, okay? 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, okay? And when do we use this? Ah, we use them, one example could be when we ask this question, when is your birthday? So let's see. Tell me, um, Sully, when is your birthday? 
My birthday is in September. My birthday is? Is September. Uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay, yes. my birthday is on September 20. My birthday is on September 20. Perfect, thank you. What about you, Carol? When is your birthday? Hi, my birthday is uh, January 1st. On, on, on January 1st. On oh my gosh, January 1st. Yes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> but you weren't the first baby of the day. No, no. Okay. Wow, January the 1st. So you are sure that all year long you got the same age. <laughs> That's cool. That's yes. Actually... What about you, Mr. Alberto? When is your birthday? My birthday is on October 28th. Okay, yes. perfect. What about you, Javier Mauricio? When is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on March 25th. 25th? Yes. Okay, remember that the sounds of the TH in this case, it's kind of weird because it's the sound as a, el sonido de la TH en este caso es el sonido de la Z en español. It's actually not a sound, it's just a blowing. 24th, 25th, okay? 25th. It's just a little blow. Perfect, excellent. So let's see. Roberto, when is your birthday? My birthday is on March 11th. March 11th, cool. Excellent. So that's party day. March mm, 11th. It's, it's a family it's a, day. <laughs> oh, excellent. That's even better. The family day with, with a, oh, yes, party. <laughs> and yeah, at the end it's a party. A different type of party. Okay. It's good, it's good. Now let's see, let's continue guys. Just let me get rid of these, okay? So I don't make a mistake. I'm going to share now another part of the class. Do you remember the be going to? It was in class two, okay, let's see. We use be going to. When do we use the be going to? Remember, this is a type of future. The be going to is used to talk about plans, to talk about intentions. And also it is used, hold on, just let me move this a little bit here. And it's also used to talk, to make predictions on what you see. Now, Something very important for you to remember, guys, is that when we use any tense, cuando usamos cualquier tiempo verbal, they express an idea. And the idea we express when we use the be going to is a plan, an intention, or prediction. Let's remember some of the examples we have. I am going to play with my friends. You see? Or what about this question? What are you going to do tomorrow? In this case, they are plans for the future. Because when I say, I am going to play with my friends, that's a plan. You have it like when, when you have a kid and the kid is going out to the street and you ask, where are you going? Or what are you going to do? And the kid says, oh, I am going to play with my friends. Or when you ask this question, you are asking about the plans this person have for tomorrow. What are you going to do tomorrow? Okay, 
So let's see. Urania, what are you going to do Sunday morning? Tell me. Um, I'm going to... Um, salir. Go out. Go out with my family. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Um, uh, at mall. We are going to the mall. Yes. Okay. We are going to the mall. Or remember, you can say we are going to the mall or you can say we are going to go. Mm, okay. Or you can say we are, we are gonna go. Gonna go? Yes, remember. Gonna, when you say gonna, what you are saying is exactly going to. But it's just a way uh. that you can pronounce it. It's just, just for pronunciation, okay? Gonna is used just when you are speaking, not when you are writing, okay? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Right? Yes. So remember, gonna is a contraction of going to. Mm. So, ah. for, say, for saying we are going to go, you contract mm -hmm. we and are. We're. You contract we're. Of to. Listen, we're gonna. Gonna. Go. We're gonna go to the mall. Say it we're fast. gonna go. Mm -hmm. Say it complete. We're gonna go to the mall. We're gonna go to the mall. Perfect. Okay. You see, you made a big sentence into a short one just using the contraction. Okay? Yeah. Okay, teacher. Right. Sarah, you finish? Did you finish? Hello? No yet? Hello? Okay. Did you finish your meal? Yes. <laughs> okay, Sarah, tell me, what are you going to do this coming Sunday in the morning? Coming Sunday in the morning, I sleep. And I'm going I'm, to. I'm going to sleep. Oh really? All morning? Yes. At uh, at eleven o'clock. Until eleven. Wow! Amazing. <laughs> yes. That's great. Thank you, Zara. Thank you, teacher. Yes. So is clapping. She said, "Wow, perfect." Let's see, we have here Mr. Joel. Hello, Joel. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Sorry, I drive in my car right now. Okay. I go on my home. Okay, perfect, perfect. Just listen, don't worry. So, Mr. Javier. Yes, teacher. Tell me, Mr. Javier, what are you going to do this coming Sunday morning? Sunday morning, uh, I'm going to uh, shopping. I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to go shopping, yes. Okay, excellent. In this case, Joel, uh, I'm sorry, in this case, Javier, go shopping is one verb. Esto okay. Es un solo verbo, okay, it's ir de compras, go shopping, alone or with, uh, with a lady? Solo, what? alone or with a lady? I'm asking, you, alone. Are you going to... alone. Okay, that's good. When we go with ladies, man, that's yeah. Very long time. It's very difficult. Yeah, it's very difficult. I'm sorry, ladies, but it's true. <laughs> it's longer when we go, like, like Orania's husband is prepared for Sunday for the whole morning just shopping. Going to the mall is, with ladies is different. Different, let's just say different. So, Carol, tell me, thank you, I mean, Carol, what are you going to do this coming Sunday morning? 
Sunday morning, yes. uh, I go to the beach. I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna go to the beach. Hello. Wow. <laughs> yes. yes. It's a convivio de la empresa. <laughs> nice. I don't even remember what is the beach now. Ya ni me acuerdo cómo es. <laughs> Ni yo, por eso voy a ir. <laughs> okay, okay. Going nice. to be rain. Malo. Oh, no. Man. Uh, no. Uh, uh, Bad. <laughs> Romeo says, it's going to be raining. No. <laughs> okay, look. Look at the chat. Okay. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Yo okay. tampoco. Okay, me neither. Me neither. Yo tampoco. Okay. okay. Me neither. Okay. And another way to say it is either do I. Either do I. Yes. They mean exactly the same. Significan exactamente lo mismo. Okay. okay. Yo tampoco. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, let's check out something else that we work with during the class. Let me see, where is it? This was class two, okay, this is it. Hold on. Okay, and this was been the biggest topic for this course. Y este ha sido el tema más largo. Simple past tense. Remember, do you remember this guy? When we have regular and irregular verbs, and when we are talking about all the verbs, the whole universe of the verbs, with the exception of was or were. Cuando hablamos de cualquiera verbo, cualquiera, exceptuando el verbo ser o estar, these are the rules. Affirmative. Subject, main verb in past, complement. Negative. Subject, auxiliary deal, the negation, not. The main verb in the base form. Look, the verb is here in the base form. That's present. El verbo acá está en su forma base, en presente. Then, the complement. Why do we have the verb in the base form? ¿Por qué tenemos el verbo en su forma base? Oh, because we have did. You see? In affirmative, no did, verb in past. Negative, did, verb in the base form. Interrogative, did, verb in the base form. That's present. So look, in the interrogative, the auxiliary comes to the very beginning. Did you go to London? Did they work at home? Okay, that was simple past. Now, I have a short question for you guys. And you are going to answer that question. Well, you're going to ask and answer this question. Ustedes se la van a preguntar al compañero en contestarla. One thing, just one thing that you think that is completely clear for you from this course. What did you learn in this course? You're going to tell to your classmate, like if you say, oh, I learned how to use was and where. You will give an example to your partner, okay? Me le van a dar un ejemplo al compañero. Right? Okay, we are going to work in groups. You are going to have three minutes, just three minutes for doing that activity. Let's see. Perfect. Jump in, guys, please.
Hello, Flora. Hello. Oh, there's Carol. Hi, Hi teacher. Hello. Es que tengo problemas con el internet. Because of the rain, most probably. Yes. Yeah, it always affects. Okay, guys. Work. Okay. Yes. Oh, come on. What about, do you remember the very first question that I ask everybody? ¿Cuál es la primera pregunta que les, pregun que les hago a todos? What do you do today? <laughs> what, do you do? What, what did you do today? What did you do today? It's that simple past tense. Simple. Okay, very simple. Okay. When you answer those questions, you always answer in past. That's why es por eso que fue la pregunta del curso. Because we needed to work with simple past. Necesitábamos enfocarnos en pasado simple. What's the biggest topic? Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Call me Jess. Thursday. Y la respuesta sería entonces, yes, I called. Or yes, I did. You only yes, I did. You can do a short answer if it's a yes, no question. Yes. La pregunta es una yes, no question. Sí. Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Remember. The ones that ask for a specific information are the WH questions, okay? Se recuerda, las que piden información específica son las WH, like, like the one I do all every day, la que les hago todos los días. What did you do today? Oh, I am asking for information. You see? Ajá, entonces como la pregunta es bien específica, entonces él puede dar una, una respuesta corta. What is the question? Did you, call, Did you call me yesterday? Okay, that's a yes, no question. Yes or no question. not question. Desde el momento que inicia con el auxiliar es una yes, no question. No le okay. pide información, está pidiendo que le confirme o que le niegue. Okay. You born. Where? Where, where, where were you born, Sully? Where were you born? I don't know. I went. I, I, wa I was born in San Salvador. Okay, perfect. I'll be back soon. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Eh, in the negative is, did you, eh, did you not call me or call? They llamar call. Okay. Did you not call me? Call. Call me. Recuérdense que el verbo va en presente porque lleva el did. Okay. Okay. Did you not call me? Yes. Did you Did you not call me? Did you not call me? Okay, teacher. Thank you. It's not that common that we use negative questions, but yes, sometimes we use them. No es tan común que hagamos preguntas negativas, but sometimes we do. Okay. En, este caso, en este caso sería como, no, I did it. Yes. Okay, we are back and we are waiting for everybody to reconnect here. Teacher. Yes, Mr. I I stay in my home. Oh, you're back home? Yes. Excellent, excellent. It's good, it's good. So let's see. Uh Carol, tell me what do you remember from this course? Yes. What do you remember from this course? I I not understand. 
¿Qué se recuerda de este curso? Ah, ok. Hoy sí. Um, I remember eh, the eh, the eh, eh, es, examples eh, the the word wash. Eh, okay. One, please. What? Give me one example. Ah, eh, I was, eh, I was in, in my born. Uh, I was born. I was born in eh, eh, 1990, no, 1976. <laughs> 1976. 1976. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you and me, we are from the 70s. Okay, yes. Hey, this is very interesting. We have never talked about this. Look at this sentence I just told her. We are okay. from the 70s. We are from 70s. That means that we are from that decade, okay? Yes. We are from okay. the seven. We are from now, let's see, Urania, what about you? Tell me, tell me something that you remember from this course. Please, Urania. Uh, me or my... Okay. You, 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 in your case, uh, your personal case. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> you have, like clear, like crystal clear. Okay, um, I learned to using to use using, to use uh, the uh, auxiliary verb did. Okay, give me one example, please. Oh, uh, uh, what do you do today? <laughs> Me? Uh, not much, not much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now tell me, Urani, what was the most difficult thing for you in this course? Uh, Don't the, picture, please. Don't the most, picture. the most difficult is um, was was uh, the mm, uh, como como decir a uh, saber cuándo usar sí was uh, okay okay. It's very simple, Rani. Remember, was and where, that's the verb be. Was y where son el verbo cero estar. Okay? In past. Special case. Caso especial. The rules doesn't apply. No aplican las reglas. Las reglas. The verb be, its own rules. Tiene sus reglas propias. Affirmative. Subject, verb, complement. I was in class. Negative. I was not in class. Interrogative. Was I in class? And that's it. Y eso es todo. Verb B. Now, for all the rest of the verbs, for todo el resto de verbos, subject, affirmative. Subject, verb in past, complement. I watched a movie yesterday. Negative. If you see in the affirmative subject, verb in past, complement. I watched, watched a movie. Negative. I didn't, didn't. watch a movie. Mm -hmm. If you notice, I didn't. Subject, didn't. Mm -hmm. Not watch the verb in present. In base. Right? Mm -hmm. Because we have did okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I did not watch a movie. Interrogative. Mm -hmm. Did I watch a movie? In the interrogative, I get the, the auxiliary at the beginning. And in the interrogative, I get the auxiliary at the beginning. Mm -hmm. 
Did I watch a movie? And that's it. It's as simple as that. If you check it out, for the affirmative subject, verb in past complement. For the negative subject, auxiliary, not the verb in the base form, complement. For the interrogative, you see the auxiliary is the yellow. Did, subject, main verb, complement. And that's it, the structure, that's it. Actually, the most difficult is to remember all the verbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But remember, it's not just a matter of learning the structure. Do your own sentences. Go back to the explanation. And if you have any question, contact me. I can help you, okay? Okay, teacher, thanks. You're welcome. Let's see, let's see. Mr. Roberto Suarez, tell me. Tell me something that was difficult for you in this in this course, in this level. Difficult. Um yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, oh, come on. I I I learn I learn more more vocabulary in, in this model and for example born and okay. in born yeah and and i associate with with a song oh born in the usa and yes it this this one and uh born of born born on the value and okay. and i know that it no and i know how is value? Okay, perfect, perfect. And, yeah, and thank you. No, you're welcome. Now, what was the most difficult, Roberto? Where did you go, Roberto? Come back, come back. And more difficult. Um, the answer. Affirmative for 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 question uh, in past. Okay, remember when we are answering, if the if it's an information question, yes, we need the verb in past and the long answer. But if the question starts right with the auxiliary. Si la pregunta comienza directamente con el auxiliar, it's like, uh, let's see, Sully, did you sleep a lot last night? Sully says, no, I didn't. Or yes, okay. I did. Si comienza con el did, es una yes, no question. Respuesta corta. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. As simple as okay. that. Okay. Now, look, guys, this word, motion, motion. Module. 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 Okay, perfect. Okay, before I ask anybody else, antes de preguntarle a alguien más, I need to show you something. But I don't know if they show it to you before. No sé si ya se los han enseñado. But there's something that you can take advantage in the platform. ¿Han visto los recursos extra de la plataforma? No, you didn't know? No. 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 I'll show Not you. Teacher. Okay, I'll show you. Pay attention, pay attention. Teacher. Okay, let's see. I'm going to show it to you. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right here. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Oh, give me just a second. But I need to close something here so you can see the step by step. Okay, this way you are going to see the whole thing. La idea es que vean el paso a paso. Okay, this is the platform, see? Okay, this is a, a learner. That's the way you watch it. De esta manera es como ustedes la ven. Okay? Now. Y 
if you go all the way down, si nos vamos todo hasta abajo, there's a section that says Centro de Ayuda. You click on it and another page is going to open. Se le va a abrir esta página. You come all the way down and you have recursos académicos. You have grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, and video conferences. So if you want to practice pronunciation, you can have what you want to work with. Rhythm and intonation, sound drills, or a, you can go to the pronunciation guide. Okay? Introduction to liking, like linking consonants and vowels, linking A to consonants. Como unimos la A con consonantes? Okay, linking the word D. Cuando usamos D or da? Remember, this is pronunciation. Okay? Or you can go back and if you want, check grammar exercises. Okay, here what you got are presentations. Well, actually they are converted into PDF. And these ones, these ones you can download. Estas pueden descargarlas. You see, you got the present of be, imperatives, modifiers, the future with be going to. Okay, and this is different to what I presented to you. Yes, son diferentes de lo que yo les presenté. Count and non-count nouns. Oh, this topic is very important. Okay. Albers of frequency. There is, there are the simple past. Okay. So you can get extra information from here. So remember, in the platform, you come all the way down to Centro de Ayuda, and there you have Recursos Académicos. And that's an extra resource that you can access just with the access to the platform. Y estos son este, recursos extras que ustedes pueden verificar y utilizar simplemente accediendo a la plataforma. That's because I know that some of you finish the, the platform fast. Sé que algunos terminan la plataforma rápido. And then you can do it like that. By the way, did all of you finish the platform, guys? ¿Todos terminamos la plataforma? Yes, teacher. I am, yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I did. Okay, excellent, excellent. Wow. That's peace of mind for me. I will send a message to the group after the class just to remind everyone. Voy a mandar un mensaje solo para el recordatorio. If somebody has not finished, you finish it, no problem. So if you see, that's an extra resource that you can use, you can access, and you can practice. Okay? It's very important that we practice the simple past. I think this is, that's the, the hardest topic from this level, simple past tense. Remember also, when we use the simple past is when we are expressing an action that is finished. Okay? An action that is no more. Una acción que ya no más. That's simple past tense. An action that is already finished. Okay? Any question up to now? Pregunta? No, teacher. Teacher. Yes, Next, coming. next, next. Um, course, you, you are teacher. Okay. Actually, that question is easier that the people from the, from the company answer to you. Creo que se las contestaría más rápido la gente de la compañía, ustedes que yo. Sometimes they keep us in the same group. A veces nos mantienen en el mismo grupo, but no more than two or three levels. Because it's also important for you to listen to a different teacher to benefit from different techniques. Each teacher got its own techniques. 
cada maestro tiene una técnica diferente. Y ustedes se pueden beneficiar de las diferentes técnicas. From different teachers. That's why they rotate us. And all, it also depends on the, on the inscription. Okay? But you can ask the people from the Thanks. They can, they can Thanks, teacher. They know before me. Ellos lo saben antes que mí. If I am with you, I'm going to be happy. If not, remember, even if I'm not your teacher, and if you got any question, just contact me. Si yo no estoy con ustedes, aunque yo no sea su maestro en el curso, si tienen alguna duda, contact me. I can help you. No problem. Okay? You got my number. No hay Tienen mi número. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You are the best. Thank you. No, thanks to you. Now, let me show you something else before we finish, guys. Veamos algo más. And let's see is this. Because uh, who was asking for this? Roberto. If I'm not mistaken. Remember. If, you, if we have a question with the verb be, we answer with the verb be. Were you in class yesterday? Yes, we were. Oh, yes, we were in class yesterday. Okay? Were you in class yesterday? No, we weren't. We weren't in class yesterday. Was Jean at the library last week? Yes, she was. She was at the library last week. Was Jean at the library last week? No, she wasn't. She wasn't at the library last week. If we, we don't need to give the explanation. With the, just with the short answer will be enough. Acá no necesitamos dar una explicación. Con la respuesta corta sería suficiente. Because it is a yes, no question. How do we know it is a yes, no question? ¿Cómo lo sabemos? Because it starts with the verb be. When it is the other, the other, uh, uh, when it is with another verb, we identify that it's a just no question because it starts with it. Like, let's see, um, Joel. Hi. Tell me, Joel, did you drive home today? Yes, I yes. was. I did. I did. I did. Listen to the question. Did you drive home today? And you tell me, oh, did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, now tell me, Joel. Uh, was it raining? Yes, was. Yes, it was. Perfect. Excellent. So you see, I made two questions. The first one, did you drive home today? And he says, yes, I did. Was it raining? And she says, yes, it was. If you notice in the first question, I started with the did, with the auxiliary for simple past for all the verbs. In the second question, I used the verb be. Was it raining? Okay. Like Urania. Did you go to the drugstore today? Yes, I did. Okay. Tell me, it was raining when you went to the drugstore? Yes, it wasn't. It, yes, it was. Oh, come on, Orania. If you see, it's very, very simple, okay? Like, Romeo, did you go to Santa Ana today? Yes. Mm, yes, I did. Today? Santa Ana. Mm. Uh, no, I no. did. Mm. Perfect. No. Now listen to this question. Where did you go today, Romeo? Uh, I, I went. I went. Perfect. I went to uh, Chalatenango City. Okay, excellent. If you notice, in this second question, I started the question with a WH question. En, el, en esta última pregunta la inicié con una WH, que quiere decir que yo le estaba preguntando información. That's why I asked him, 
where did you go today? I don't know. And he told me, oh, I went to Chalatenango. He gave me the information I was asking for. In the first question, I just wanted to know if yes or no. In the second question, I needed to know the location, the information, okay? So always you need to be like very attentive to the beginning of the question. If it start with was, with where, with did, or with the WH. Remember that WH, they go before the structure. The WH van siempre al inicio, antes de la estructura. I mean, the structure is the same. Solo acuérdense que la WH va antes de la estructura. It doesn't matter if it's the verb B, if it's all the rest of the verbs. It doesn't matter the tense, no importa el tiempo verbal. Always they go right at the beginning of the sentence. Okay? Is there any question, guys? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? No? No, teacher. Okay, everybody. It's been a pleasure for me to be with you in this course. Ha sido un placer para mí estar en, con usted en este curso. You have been an excellent group. And I hope to see you soon. Y espero verlos pronto. If not, don't get lost. Keep in touch. Que no los veo. No se pierdan. Manténganse en contacto. Hi, okay. teacher. Thank, Thank you, teacher. For, Thank you, teacher. 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 Thank you, Saber por qué están riendo. Porque él va a ir a celebrar, solo él. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.